Nine super empath traits is what we're diving into today. Let's do it. Tammy M. Joyce here, Empowerment Life Coach, creator of the Freedom Class and the Ascension Class. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please take a second to say hello and introduce yourself in the comments section below. And if you're back, welcome back. Thanks for showing up and for tuning in. Either way, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos throughout the week. So let's talk about nine super empath traits. But first, what exactly is a super empath? Well, super empaths are fully empowered, highly empathic, self-aware, soul aligned humans who have done their work and are on path, living out their divine mission, purpose, and calling from a place of absolute courage, strength, and integrity. They're highly intuitive visionary leaders, truth seekers, and truth speakers. They have the ability to transmute negative frequencies as well as read others' emotional energy and intent with incredible accuracy. Super empaths are the strongest of empaths, which is what makes them so attractive, appealing, magnetic, as well as challenging for the destructive narcissist. What differentiates a super empath from a regular empath is their natural inner strength, their high self-esteem, and solid connection to their core identity. They know exactly who they are and who they are not, which makes them harder to mess with and therefore far more problematic for a destructive narcissist. Now that said, narcissists rather enjoy the challenge a super empath offers, but it quickly becomes a problem because the super empath can't be fooled for long and doesn't just roll over when the games begin. And this pushback is something the narcissist rather enjoys and finds attractive at first. A super empath doesn't tolerate abuse or mistreatment like a regular codependent empath will. Moreover, they know how to use their empathy as a superpower and they use it in service of others and for the good of humanity. Whether others see that for what it is or not is of no consequence to the super empath. Like I said, they know who they are. They live independent of the good or not so good opinions of others. Super empaths have a very strong core identity that can withstand even the toughest manipulators. And it's this core identity that makes them the narcissist's biggest nemesis, as well as their most alluring and unattainable target. A super empath's core identity keeps them true to themselves, even when a manipulator tries their best to put one over on them. If a narcissist tries to gaslight a super empath, attempt to make them doubt who they are, guilt, blame, or shame them for something they didn't do, or intimidate them to make themselves feel superior, a super empath isn't the slightest bit phased, nor will they budge. They are very clear when it comes to their values, their morals, and beliefs. And when someone tries to shift blame onto them by gaslighting them, they won't stand for it. They simply do not suffer fools and will not enable you in your nonsense. See why they're so problematic for a destructive narcissist? They are natural born leaders and healers who carry a very strong sense of intuition. They have the ability to read other people's minds, even from a distance. You can't con, manipulate, or deceive a super empath. Not for long, anyway. To say that they will be on to you and quickly is an understatement. They know exactly what you're thinking and feeling and what you're up to. And with all of that said, let's dive into the nine traits of a super empath. Number one, they're deeply emotionally aware. They have a high level of emotional intelligence and they pick up on patterns that others don't see. As such, they are astute observers and discerners of human energy, intent, attitudes, and behavior. So don't kid yourself. They don't miss a thing, which leads me to number two. They're highly intuitive. They see, feel, and notice things that others often completely overlook. Their gnosis is very strong. They know just because they know. They don't doubt, second guess, or question their knowing. And they often pick up on and know things others would really prefer they didn't know. Like all empaths, they feel everything much more deeply and intensely than the average human does. Number three, they can be intimidating but aren't easily intimidated. They have a very strong presence and others, especially insecure people, are often intimidated by them. They know themselves. They are very self-aware. They know their strengths as well as their weaknesses and they feel good in their own skin. This kind of confidence can be unnerving for folks who don't carry the same. 
No matter what they've lived through and survived, which is usually more than most can fathom, super empaths don't see themselves as powerless victims. Super empaths are different. They aren't afraid to fight back. And this brand of strength, courage, and personal power is something less evolved humans can find unnerving. Number four, they're immune to the smear campaign. Now, while they may still feel it to some degree, in the sense that they know full well when it's happening, smearing and scapegoating them has little to no effect and certainly no power or influence over them. Now that said, they're likely to drop you like a rock without a second thought the moment they realize it's happening. The thing is, they've been on the receiving end of so much of this kind of crap throughout their lives and, like I said, have healed and overcome more than most can even imagine. So much so, that shit doesn't sway or affect them in the slightest. They've ascended beyond it and they're busy doing their purpose work. So they don't sell their soul for anyone and they live 100% within integrity and they have rock solid self-respect. So smear all you want. The super empath couldn't care less. They know who they are. And now they know who you are. Good enough. Number five, they're fiercely independent and interdependent. Although they enjoy the company of others and they'll likely love you more than anyone, they aren't afraid to be alone. They can dine out, shop, travel, live, and be alone quite happily and comfortably. And because of this fiercely independent nature of theirs, they aren't easily influenced by others. Remember, the super empath is not a regular codependent empath and therefore has no need to fix, save, or rescue others in order to shore up their own self-esteem. Although they may want you, they do not need you, but more than anything, they will not enable you. Again, they don't sell their soul for anyone. Now comment below and tell me whether or not you identify as a super empath. Let me know in the comments section below. And if you'd like to learn more about the possibility of working with me in my eight week transformational coaching program, the freedom class, there is a link in the description below where you can apply to see if you qualify for a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with either myself or a member of my team. Number six, they carry genuine self-love. Unlike your average codependent empath, a super empath doesn't only have empathy for others, they have it for themselves. They practice extreme self-care unapologetically. They have deep empathy, compassion, acceptance, and understanding for themselves as well as others. They are able to set boundaries confidently with ease, grace, and zero discomfort. They don't allow others to exploit them or siphon their vital life force energy, and they certainly don't abandon themselves. So they have no fear of being abandoned. They understand that self-love is vital to living a good life, and they know that you can't give away what you don't carry. So they've done and continue to do their work. They've healed their wounded inner child and have evolved out of codependent thinking and behaving into a place of high self-worth and standards. They don't do denial anymore. And they certainly don't tolerate manipulation, gaslighting, toxic gossip, passive aggressive nonsense, or any other deeply unconscious attitudes and behavior. They have no time for it. Number seven, super empaths take radical responsibility for themselves and their lives. They are no one's victim. While your average empath may still be asking questions like, why are narcissists so evil? The super empath knows this is the wrong question. Instead, they have the courage and the strength to look within and ask far more empowered and productive questions. Like, for example, What's going on inside of me that I allow myself to be targeted and victimized by empathy impaired emotional manipulators and toxic bullies? Questions like that. Number eight, the mirror effect. They operate as a mirror to those who are still below the veil of consciousness, like untreated codependents as well as destructive narcissists. They reflect back to deeply unconscious and toxic people their own disowned shadow self which is why they can be so triggering for some of the humans. They can trigger you without even opening their mouths. They've been triggering people their whole lives. The more empowered they become, the more they trigger others. They're not only used to it, they're absolutely clear what is and is not their shit, and they don't let anyone else's shit land on them. They know full well it's not their stuff. Number nine, they're honest and direct. 
And this is often a problem simply because people have become so accustomed to others being indirect and phony that clear direct communication is often perceived and received as aggression. Unlike other codependent empaths, the super empath actually has what it takes to hold the narcissist accountable for their toxic behavior and weather whatever storm ensues as a result. Super empaths are made of ridiculously strong stuff and narcissists are no match for the pure personal and spiritual power a super empath carries. Again, they know exactly who they are. They can feel underlying contempt, disdain, ill will, and envy, no matter how well camouflaged. Although they'll give you more than the benefit of the doubt, they have a limit to how much they'll tolerate. And once that limit is met, it's game over. When they're done, they're done. And with that, I'm gonna call it a wrap. But don't stop now, I have well over 100 more videos right here on YouTube for you to watch to help you better understand the detrimental effects of narcissistic abuse, and more importantly, learn what you need to do now to heal from the abuse so you can start living your best life in peace, confidence, and freedom. And if you want to go deeper with me, go to TammyMCoaching.com and learn about my unique tried and true process garnered over decades of experience and learn how you can become my client.